Hi guys! Um, don't pardon me, I kind of worked out and I never bothered doing anything and like, taking videos always makes me self-conscious so you know I say you should make my hair like this. But anyway, I just want to introduce myself since we have so many new people on the team. I'm Sarah McCarthy, I'm currently a Silver Premiere. This is this is my team page and I want to tell you a little about me and why I do what I do. Um, I have, don't mind me, I'm, I'm, I'm a whole posh. I'm multitasking like I tell you guys to do. I was supposed to call about this yesterday when I got a hold of them. I totally forgot. Um, squirrel. Anyway, um, I have been with the company for three years. Um, prior to this, um, well, during a long time of this, I was a, a high school science teacher. Um, I absolutely enjoyed what I do. I love teaching. I love science. I love teaching. Um, I just didn't like a lot of the junk that came along with it, especially in the county I was at. Education is not what it used to be when we were in the 80s, people. If you're a 90s baby, sorry, you don't get it. But anyway, um, I finished my last year with teaching after 14 years last year. And I am so glad I do. On the one hand, um, I miss aspects of that. I, I miss the kids. I miss harassing them. I know it's hard to believe. I don't miss the BS that came with it. I do miss a little bit of having the posh paycheck on top of the school paycheck. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit that was a little bit fun, but we're getting back to that level. Um, but um, I have worked hard at this business. It's not an easy business. People come in and they think that money's just gonna fall in their laps, and it doesn't. You have to work, and I've worked very hard to get up to this level. But doing so has gained me a lot of stuff. It's gained me, you guys. It's gained wonderful, wonderful friends. And I can't tell you all, one of the benefits of being in this is the friends I've made. They're just amazing people. Many of them are pinnacles, several premieres, several mouth premieres, and my life wouldn't be the same without them and I'm freaking crying. Bear with me. Um, I absolutely love sales. I always have. I was always the top fundraiser when I was a kid. It's so much fun, and it's great to see people love the product and put it on and be like, oh my gosh, my face feels so amazing. I'm like, right? Um, this is a, um, I, I really think that people should be a part of our team because we're amazing, and, and we support each other, and we lift each other up, and it's, it's a very rare thing to find a support network that supports you and while women can also be mean and they can be catty and they can be well we're me and we buy guys just duke it out women go the extra mile to find crappy things to do to each other we're also fantastic and um this company cares and there's there's been problems every company we're only four years old so we're not very old but through everything there is a bigger picture to it and um, the key is is that you you have to tough it out and you have to understand the company does care like giving us the perks for the um, in the clears that we had it has a manufacturing defect a lot of companies would be like sorry we're not gonna give you anything we're just throw it away and whatever um, and um, Anna and Andrew truly care if you haven't gone to a day away and met them you need to do so and it's getting oh, back and that's kind of what changed my Mine where I went a little bit more serious with meeting Anne because she actually talked to me one on one. She's our CEO and she actually took the time to get to know me. We're much smaller than the lines to meet them now are super long. It's crazy. It's like a celebrity status, but you should because they do care and they do want to get to know you. And it's really weird because they actually knew a lot about me before I became at the level to where I started going to leaderships. And um, I always kid a little bit that they're kind of creeper stalker people, but they're not really creeper. They just, they like to know people. And at one time, Andrew, and Stephanie can attest to this, and Jen, um, last February, Andrew could list the name of everybody in the room. I think we had like 80 people there. Where, uh, what their ID number was, and exactly what city they lived in. And even if it was a little itty bitty tiny, 80 people is, um, is crazy amazing. I don't know how long he practiced that, but it was it was super crazy. And um, but I am very much a teacher at heart. So I go through and I expect you guys to learn on your own and to the rule like ask three before you ask me is what I used to tell them to go and ask them um, to go and 
look stuff up for yourself. You want to know what if an ingredient's in a product, go look it up in the posh paper. You want to know what a product's good for, go look at the file list that we have. To The thing that drives me nuts, I'm on the admins on the Rockstar pages when people says, will you make this for me? We have a pin post that teaches you how to, that shows you how to do that. You'll never learn if you don't try to do that. And I think that's my biggest thing is when people don't try and they don't try to learn. And so I'm very big on teaching. It used to frustrate the kids too because I'd be like, well, where, where can you go get, look that up? Where can you do that? And I would not tell them straight out. And they'd be like, "Just you're supposed to teach me. Just tell me. And I'm like, no, I'm supposed to teach you, not tell you. So I'm very big on that. I'm also not known for a filter. I was told often that I needed a filter. So many times I will speak without doing that. But I'm also very, very blunt. And I'm also very... I'm very, this is what you need to do, this is why you need to do it. And I don't put up with a lot of stuff. I, I will tell you a couple times, and about the third time I start getting irritated that time, it's the teacher and me as well. And um, I'm trying to go away from some of my teacher um, my teacher uh, instincts, but they 14 years is a long time to teach. So one of the things with them is that... Um, I will give you a smackdown if I need to. It's a loving smackdown because I love you and I will put my foot up your ass if I need to. And once again, it's a loving foot, but sometimes that's what you guys need. And I'm very much that way. I used to I used to do that all the time to students. I'm like, listen, this is ridiculous. This is what your potential is and you're not living up to your potential. And th th this is the same thing. You guys have so much potential. There's so much on this team. It's amazing. And I just want you all to capture that potential because you could go so far. We're only four years old. If you could just capture it, you could just you could be crazy. And when you guys don't live up to your potential, it drives me nuts because I see it. And then some people just they give up. And it's, it's frustrating because... There's so much that you could do, and it's crazy, and it's it's not an easy job. I have three kids. I have an 11-year-old, 8-year-old, I'm surprised the 3-year-old's not back in here on my second take trying to say hi and everything. She loves being on video. She thinks it's hilarious. She's my 3 -nager. She's also a reason why I'd love to leave and do posh sometimes because I love her to death, but sometimes if you have a 3 -nager at home, <sighs> so, um, but... You know, so that's kind of the way I do it. And I am very much a positive person. Um, Jennifer Dunn, who's my premier, she's known me since third grade. She will attest to this. I was not like this in high school. I was very much introverted. I was very much, while well, I got along with everybody, I let what people said get to me. I was more negative. I lived in a very negative household. And I've worked, and my mom can't. My mom's on this page somewhere. Um, but I've worked very hard to become this person. And I've worked very hard to, to know that, being negative and being down, there's just no way to leave. It makes everybody around you feel miserable. Who wants to be around a Debbie Downer? But oh my gosh, see three a jerk. See, look at that. Um, anyway, go play. Um, so and with that, it's it's very much I positive because it's so much a better way to be. It's so much a better way to think. Why think negative? Why think anything? So some people don't get along with me, and they don't think they they don't like my positive point of view, and that's fine. But I am, I will, it, the other thing too is I'm fiercely loyal. I'm loyal to you guys. I'm loyal to this company. And if I think something is going to tear you down, I will handle that. And believe it or not, I will handle that. It's that old adage that nobody's going to pick on you except for me. You know, like a brother or sister's Well, they can pick on you. That's my job. So I'm fiercely, fiercely loyal because this is a great company. This is an amazing company. You guys are amazing. And I will defend it, and I will defend it, and, and that's what I am. That's one of my quality traits. It, it's on every stupid little aptitude test is loyalty, and um, I will defend it. But I will also, but I will also not tolerate negativity or anything like that. There's a fine line between venting, which I'll let go. If I think it's something that's going to do more damage than good, I will delete that crap off the page, and um, and I expect you guys to call me on it too. If I do something where you're like, listen, come on, Sarah, that's not usually like yourself. So, but I, I live very much in, in in that you can do whatever you put your mind to. If you change your brain, it's going to change your thing. Wait till you see my Tuesday training later. Uh, change your brain, change your life. And that if you sit there and you work on it, and it's not an easy task to change and get more positive, just these wonderful things will happen in your life. So that's the way I run the page. And... Um, Feel free to drop a little video about yourself on, but I was just thinking about this last night. I thought, there's so many new people I should tell you, and I kind of blathered on for about 10 minutes now. It's probably taking up enough of your time. So, um, I absolutely adore this. If you're watching this, because I'm going to drop it on YouTube, and you're not part of this team, 
please, please, or you're on the team page and you're on a 48 hour press, please consider joining this team. There is, there is so much that you can gain from this. Even if you're only here for a, an, a month, there is so much that you can get from being part of this company and being part of this team and interacting with these girls. I don't know why I'm so crying today. So please consider joining. What's the worst that can happen? Get a discount on some fantastic products. They just keep getting better. You're going to become part of a, a, a fun company that I quit my job for. And you're going to become part of a team who's absolutely amazing. And the girls who make these friendships and do stuff. And even if you don't stay in it, the friendships last. So that's just my thing. So I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.